Esther 3. Esther 3. I was praying in, in the night. I was praying with, oh, I was just had reason to pray. We're praying. And then I had this revelation. All of a sudden, I felt like praying. And, you know, dealing with the 13th of this month. And you won't, you'll be blown away to see that date. Even though they will step into that day by the Spirit and cancel those evil appointments. Please pray this like your life depends on it. The day that was arranged for your death, you are going to go into that day by the Spirit and cancel that appointment. If it's an appointment, then there can be a disappointment. The Bible says he disappoints the devices of the crafty and their hands. Don't pray this as a gentleman. Let's read the whole of Esther 3. Quickly, quickly. NLT, NLT, NLT. Let's read it all through to Remember I said I felt like praying and I told AY, I mean OY, let's cover um, 13th of this month by the blood of Jesus. And all of a sudden, while reading the scripture, you see in a moment. Good afternoon, church. I want to thank God for the salvation of my soul and the mercy of God upon my life. I was taken on Tuesday by ritualists at Odeku here. So I wasn't know that there was ritually. So they took me to where they are doing sacrifice. So when we went there, so there we are four in number. So when we went there, there, there a guy is sitting at my front, then two beside me, then he's his What day guy. did they pick you? On Tuesday. Tuesday is what day? 13th. 13th. Okay. So when, when they start doing the incantation, the boss that is looking at me, he has a black ball. And with water, he was talking inside the water like, Master, yes, this and that, they are doing incantation. Then one man within me told me that this place that you are, it is something else that you should pray. Then I now start praying, praying. Then I now pick up my phone, start reading. Then they asked me that I should drop that phone. I should stop reading. Then they now asked me to remove my earring and remove my SIM card. Then I should put the phone inside the bowl that they are doing incantation. So I put the phone inside. So when the time for the sacrifice reached, so they asked me to stand up. So the guide for the boast, so he now holds like calabash with oil. So they we are rubbing the oil on my body. They rub the oil for the sacrifice all over my body. So after they done that, when the time for sacrifice reach, so then the pot that they supposed to do sacrifice, he decides he begin to bring smoke. Then they we are like, why, why, why is it that he's bringing smoke? I was praying, I was praying, I was praying. They tried, they tried. Got a call, the distress call. Oh, Baba, 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 you were speaking. I was like, Inakake, Inakake, Alheri, what happened? When Kaman Al Janusu, she get a Inakake, Kazoya, and Zuna, and then she caught the call. And where I was in the office, I just felt this anger. You know, immediately I just got into the car. I drove down to their office. When I got to the office, Six men were holding this woman, this girl that you're seeing. She was flinging them like paper. I'm not joking. I don't know if anybody from our office is here. Or Brother Bernard, you were with me that day. Lena also, you know, because we had to bring her to church. Six men were holding them there. When I went to try it, I felt like rubber in her hands. Immediately, I just told everybody, I said, no, don't worry, put her in my car. I'm taking her to church. I'm taking her to church. So, when, when they called her, they said they took her there, removed everything in her body, left her stark naked. All the rubbing they were doing on her body, she was stark naked. And they were making all the incantations. Before, I mean, she said to us that they said, oh, this one has not been accepted or something like that. You know, and they left her. She came out, didn't know where she was. Where did they take you to? Nyanopaja, from VI. She didn't know anything. She said she just saw 1,000 naira in her hands. 
she was begging people to use their phones to make a call everybody was seeing her like a mad person in the market there you know before finally somebody assisted her she made the call and they brought her back here the next day was the manifestation i mean you know i've seen the morning manifestation but that day i said when i attempted they called me to the office so i got there and thank god also make sure you work with people that are godly right the md of the company maybe you know it these people that um, supply currency to banks bmw or the yeah bbw the office is here the md i had came down himself with anointing or less down she's a very genius staff he, he can't even really he shouldn't be relating with her but came down knelt down prayed with her when he didn't help her, i came down saw her i tried touching her i said please just help me all the men there gathered god is my witness if you see how she was throwing them away you know that it is not this person that was doing it you know she was screaming master master you know that it is the devil that was speaking you could hear the voice we got her to church got the security men took her to the office and in that i, I said up to now i'm still finding that i'm still looking for the anger that i, I felt that day. i said not alheri i spoke we spoke we prayed in tongues took the anointing oil all her office staff a lot of them were there with us in the office upstairs as soon as we dropped the anointing oil on her it was like cold water you know from boiling points to freezing points god delivered her with that shout she slept almost three four or five hours there in the office slept there i had to cancel work that wednesday you know stayed there monitored that when she was okay before we asked her to go but you can continue your testimony if there's any other thing you want to add but we thank god for that deliverance my major testimony on the 8th of this month i was coming to work i don't i i don't know if they are kidnappers or ritualists I entered the bus immediately. I knew something was wrong. I keep looking at those, the other thought people that sat beside me. They were just like, why am I looking at them? They enter the express immediately. They wind up. It was tinted glass. I keep looking at the other person because the other person was holding back. I don't know what he was doing. I was just like, look, he was just like, why am I looking at them? Before you know, they put on their, they put on marks. I was just praying in spirit. Before you do, the other, with the anger, like me looking at them, I'm like, they, they, they beat me. I was shouting, no help, nothing, no, not, no help. Nobody could even hear my voice because there was no even moving vehicle in that, this thing. They just beat me. They lied me. They lied me down. I could not even do anything. Before you know, they say, close your eye, close my eye. I was just looking at them. The four of them just joined their hands together. They were doing their, their own incantation. I was doing my own incantation as well, which was... <laughs> Bible told me that this thing will happen, but it's not for my own sake. Before you know, when the other person, the, the other person was just like, um, let's smash this one. I just know where that voice came up on. Like, this is a small child. Let her be. That's how they just threw me out of the moving vehicle. They they withdraw all my they withdraw all my money, collected my from my property, but I just thank God. Now open your mouth. Hope you know those guys were ritualists. They were looking for blood. Nobody will spill your blood. I hear a prayer point. Say, Father, expose men and women, groups, groups behind ritual killing in Lagos, in Nigeria. Open your mouth and say, expose them. Expose them. Expose those demanding it. Expose those supplying it. May they be arrested. When you entered the car you entered, 
What kind of car was it? Corolla. Corolla. Was it an Uber or just taxi? Just taxi. Okay. The wisdom part. You know, we've begged people don't enter Kabu Kabu. How many of you hear me say that? That if you need transportation, me, I believe in using church money for the people. That's my philosophy. Amen. So, in this season, wisdom level, avoid those Kabu Kabu. Don't just avoid buses, you know, pray in the spirit. Preferably take buses from parks that you see are numbered. Even at that, God will help us. Amen. She's one of those the church is paying for her university education. You are in a good church. That's what we do here. From the house at church. So she was going to school. She was going to write exam. Found herself in Yanokwaja. Adua keo. Hey. Give God thanks. Give God thanks.